was revealed about Jonah, John the Baptist and Simon when they were all sent towards the land of Antioch. In the Bible you can find out about the land of Antioch. It's mentioned in, in, the, in the book of Acts. If you go on the Bible, the book of Acts speaks about the missionaries who were sent to the land of Antioch. When they were sent to the land of Antioch, who were they? John and Jonah were the first to be sent towards the land of Antioch. In the land of Antioch, there was a king there at the time who was persecuting all the believers. John and Jonah were told by the prophet Jesus to go towards the land in order to spread the message of God. When they reached the land, they met a person, a farmer. And the farmer said to them, you've seen strangers here, what are you doing? They said, we've come to spread the message of Jesus. You can narrate the whole story in Yasin. Read Yasin, you'll see how the story develops. They said, we've come to spread the message of Jesus. They said, what ability do you have to prove that you are spreading the message of God? They said, we can cure the blind. And we are able to raise the dead and make them alive. And we can cure those who are in leprosy. And so he said, okay, my son has been ill for a very long time. No one has been able to cure him. If you can cure him, then I'll believe that you are the disciples of a prophet of God. They then were able to cure his son. He then takes them into town. When he takes them into town, they are able to bring many people towards the religion. However... Hello everyone. Peace of the Lord with everybody. Uh, so we heard this guy, this gentleman, supposedly he is a teacher, teaching in Islamic University. And the brothers and sisters, which mean the Muslims, are listening to him. I hope no Christians are listening because, you know, uh, they want to deceive each other, fine, but they will, we will never allow them to deceive us. Uh, you heard him saying that the Surah, he did mention, it's talking about the three disciples of Jesus Christ, and those are Jonah and Simon and uh, John, I believe he said, right? But if you go to his own book, you will see that what he said it was not true because there is a name Muslims don't want to mention what is that name it is Paul now this is the verse Surah 30, uh, chapter 36 verse number 14 when we first sent to them two messengers they rejected them but we strengthened them with a, with a third they said truly we have been sent a mission to you okay so in here Allah saying who is the one who sent we who is we it's mean Allah he sent the first two to what to messengers they rejected them so those two messengers they could not you know prove themselves they, they did not do the, the great job so Allah he sent the third one and sound like he is the best because we strength them with the third this is a support this is the one who will complete the mission you heard him saying that those are the three disciples of Jesus Christ before we explain that let us go to explanation of Ibn Kathir you can go there this is official government website of Saudi Arabia this is how you do it you click in the first option this is Ibn Kathir this is a Jalalain this is a Tabari this is a Qurtubi this is Ibn Kathir the first one we click in here the page will switch in Arabic and Ibn Kathir explanation will open to you you see it says Ibn Kathir and this is the government of Saudi Arabia website official approved books in there you will see the explanation saying in their explanation that the names of the messengers the first two messengers was Simon and John and the third one is Paul this is why I accuse this teacher to be a liar because it doesn't say any other name except Paul. And Muslims always attack Paul. He, Paul, he is the one who corrupt the Bible. Paul, Paul. But suddenly Paul is a prophet of God in their Quran. And I think and I believe all of you, you heard him saying that those messengers, they will do miracles messengers they will do miracles in the same page of Ibn Kathir they you will see they are saying they are the messengers of Jesus Christ they are the messengers of the Messiah 
and those messengers they do miracles and the Quran saying they are the messengers of Allah messengers of God so in the same time they are the messengers of Messiah so Messiah can send prophets he can send messengers if he is just a prophet how he can do that and before we explain more let us do something so people in here they will not because I know Muslim they will say you are a liar this is a true, true translation etc you can go to that page with me and you can copy the text all the way down and you take it to Google translation where is Google translation here we go this is Google translation you post you paste the, the text in there and you click you choose it from Arabic to English and you click translate and the translation will show in a second Google translation it's not not very accurate it but it's more than enough to show the lies of Muslims the name of the first apostles Simon and John and Paul the word third they translated as three because the verse saying the third one so Paul you see it why he did not say Paul when he was teaching in the university because he is as the same who do teach about Islam to people who don't speak Arabic they would love to cover the lies because if they say Paul is a messenger of Allah how they can attack Christianity it doesn't work anymore what is the name of the village it's Antakya in Arabic we say Antakya or in Antakya so we proved in a second that those are the three messengers they are S S Simon and Paul and John and Paul and the strong one is Paul so Paul is the best and this is from their book as you see we just copy the explanation from Ibn Kathir as it is and we click translate and you can I advise you to do that just to be sure that I'm not giving you garbage and you will see in the same translation that those are the weird the apostles of Jesus Christ to the people of Antakya but the Quran saying they are the messenger of God but they are the messenger of Christ and this is will show us another mistake in the Quran which is going to expose the Quran if Jesus he can send messengers and the Quran approve them as messengers of God Jesus have to be God because a prophet cannot send prophet and we are not talking about someone he do deliver a message or like a letter to call him a messenger no because you will hear this guy when you hear him listen carefully they made miracles they do miracles Muhammad himself he was not able to do miracles those messengers of Christ they are doing miracles and if somebody will say to you they are just messengers while they're delivering letter you know I can show you from the Quran the Quran itself saying Muhammad just a messenger this is surah 3 verse 144 and Muhammad is just a messenger of God so he is no better than those and we before we finish you will see in here they are saying that our Lord he knew that we are you know that we are a messengers to you our Lord you know our Lord in the translation in Arab our Lord and they just say they, they are the disciple of Jesus Christ so Rabbuna in here it goes to Jesus because he is the one who sent them you see how they lie anyway so I hope you will enjoy our video you can play the video again so to hear this guy that the messengers of Jesus Christ can do miracles and Jesus Christ he can send messengers they are the same and better than Muhammad who himself could not even make one one miracle why because he was false otherwise how come and here again before we close if somebody said to you they are just messengers this is surah 3 verse 144 it says Muhammad is nothing but just a messenger nothing 
and they are messengers and the Quran saying they are messengers of God and this is a proof that Jesus Christ is messenger or God for sure he is God because messenger cannot send messengers a prophet who can do miracles no one can give you the ability to do miracles except God Jesus is Lord Islam is false Amen.